Hello everybody, this is Muzaffar and welcome to the second video of my Echo Framework series. In this video, we will learn Echo Framework uh, basics and before we start, please make sure you have Go installed on your computer. Let's begin by creating a project. Change directly into it. And initialize it as a go module. You can do go mod init and the name of the project is going to be get started with echo. So with this we should have go mod created. Let's open this project in VS Code. see we have go mod there let's go back to the echo framework website and copy the installation command from here we can uh, copy this get command and in terminal we can just paste it Alright, let's go back to the VS Code and check out our Go mod file. Yep, it has uh, Echo Framework installed. Let's create a main.go file. it is working fine let's go back to the uh, visual studio code and create a new instance of echo framework before we do that let's go back to the go mod file and uh, copy the echo framework uh, path and import it here new instance I will be naming it as e for echo and then echo dot so this basically creates a new instance of echo framework let's create a new get route and start the server so we can do uh, e dot get and uh, you can see it is quite simple with echo framework it is just uh, accepting the path and the handler function so the path uh, i'll be naming it the hello world and the handler function we can see the syntax uh, by command clicking on the uh, get function and here we see, we can see that it is accepting this handle func let's come on click on it and here is the definition of this function so let's copy the function definition and remember this context is coming from echo framework right so let's go back to the main paste it here and since context is coming from echo so we can just uh, take it from echo and start the brackets here and let's just uh, uh, print a message so we can just do c dot string and if you uh, hold your mouse cursor on this string we can see it is accepting uh, the status code and this string so let's do http dot status okay so this is going to be 200 in the message so message is going to be what uh, 
and then we can remove this one this error here so we have a route then comma then function and oh yeah we are supposed to return it so that's good now let's just start the server so we can just do e dot start and it is just accepting the address so we can just put come uh, colon uh, 8080 save it then go back to the terminal and run the file go run run back home. and you can see uh, it is asking to allow the network connections incoming network connections now it will always pop up uh, it will uh, we will always receive this pop up if we you know uh, if we don't def uh, define any uh, like a host so let me also define the host there so 127.0.0.1 we can also keep it as a uh, local host doesn't matter so let's keep it as uh, 127.0.0.1 and then at at let's go back to the terminal and start the server and try to start it again now we should not see any pop-up for incoming for accepting the incoming network connections yep our server is now started on uh, port 8080 let's go back to the browser and type hit the endpoint so remember the endpoint was hello world so we can copy it and go back to the browser and we can do localhost 8080 and uh, here we can just put it as hello world and yeah we can already see the message You might have noticed already that echo framework uh, manages 404 for you so if we remove uh, hello world from here then we can see the message uh, not found which means we don't have to do it on our side it is being done uh, by echo framework itself so if we try to do some unknown route here then we still get uh, not found which is good so uh, one other thing uh, if we go back to the terminal we don't see any logs printing here uh, like even if we try to hit hello world route we don't see any uh, logs coming here in order to see the logs we have to use the logging middleware so to use it we just have to first import the uh, middleware package from echo framework so it is not here but let's uh, go back here we can copy this import statement and slash middleware and here we can just do e dot use and here uh, we can add the uh, uh, logging middleware so it is going to be middleware dot logger and that should have done the trick let's go back to the terminal press command c to start the server and run the file again to start it hmm okay i think we need to do go mod uh, tidy all right let's try to run the file again okay now we are getting a message let's go back to the browser and try to hit hello world uh, route again 
and if we go back we can see the log in json format and uh, one other thing uh, that is at any point if we you know uh, got some panic for some reason Start server. Let's hit the hello world route. We will see uh, our application is now broken completely. So, in order to you know uh, recover from uh, panics uh, gracefully, we can also use another uh, beautiful middleware from Echo that is called recover. So, we can do e.use middleware dot recover so let's start stop the server and start it again now let's go back and uh, refresh the route you see this time we got internal server error which means we have recovered from the panic let's go back and remove that uh, panic message and verify whether things are working fine let's restart the server lastly if you want to send a json response you can also do it uh, using c.json uh, so let me comment out this statement and then we can return c.json and you see it is also accepting the status code and the interface so let's do http dot status okay then we need to pass uh, struct so for me I can just quickly create a struct here message let's name it response and it is going to be struct and response is going to have message field and it is going to be string and let's also like uh, tag it so json here it's going to be message in lowercase now let's use this response here so this response and message is all pass this here in a second parameter now we can remove this one or maybe keep it for reference so yeah let's restart the server and go back to the browser you see earlier it was displaying a string now if we refresh it can see it is written in JSON so that's about it for this video be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in next video